are you tired of the automation concepts that you are learning they are very theoretical in nature right you are looking for a selenium project or you want to do some automation practice right but you are not able to find a project you want some project that that i can add to your resume also right you are a fresher you are a manual tester looking for some kind of open source projects that you can basically add after doing automation into a resume right then this is a right video for you in this video i'm going to show you the three important open source projects right one is not open source but again you can add to your resume also and these are amazing and i'm going to tell you also what kind of concepts that you will learn after doing this right trust me guys these are very very important you will find lots of practices but these two or three projects that i'm going to discuss right they are very important you can watch this video in 1.5x that's a super important things all right let's get started so first of all the project that we are discussing right i will tell you like how to basically find them right there are some of them require a free trial to be created right i think you can easily manage in this case right the first one we are going to discuss is the hr module which is uh, orange uh, hr module right this one which uh, is orange hr module it's a basically a you can say employee management tool kind of thing right where hrs can definitely manage their employees right let me show you how this looks like right so if you go to the trial so first of all what you can do is you can go to the orange hrm.com where you can sign up for a 30 day trial right they will give you a link uh, where 30 days trial will be available and that is enough for you to do practice right after logging in they will give you an information so here you will see it's an amazing tool to do practice especially to do automation if you are doing api or even if you are doing selenium testing right this is what you have to do see here you will see drop down you will see multiple things let me show you see you they have a login page here you will learn about the inbox boxes registration page where they have web, web tables which are static and dynamic both of them you will see a crud operation how to add an employee delete an employee search an employee in a particular web tables you will see drop drop downs file uploads you can upload images you can upload their resume they can upload their csv files they have multiple windows where you can basically switch they have calendars which are amazing you can use js executors which are very important and you will get a 30 day trial so this what you can do is you after doing this right so you can do login page registration page adding an employed searching an employee right so searching in web tables clicking it editing right all these things you can add to your resume also this is an open source project and what i would recommend you is on saturday sunday no just take out some time and do some automation add this project into your git repository how will you get it to your git repository go to your profile and create a repository and upload all the source code that you have for example here if you can see i have uploaded for example see uh, we have like selenium framework right this is how you can take a help from this framework this is a skeleton project and in this you can add the test cases of orange hrm right and because this contains java selenium maven thread a low report it's a thread safe again you can run parallel three grids also right you can take help of this and you can automate right cool enough yes let's move on to the second important point uh, second important one which is vw.com which is my favorite right it's a ab testing site first of all let me show you how this looks like uh, this is how it looks like you have a simple login page where after signing in, if you have a sign up button there is a create a free account button also but the creation registration part is very very different in this case right here you will see a page where you will see lots of widgets lots of menu items right first of all what you can learn of course it has login page and the registration page is like quite complex where what you have to do is that you have to do email verification this is one of the unique test case that you have to basically add what you what you have to do is you have to create a async rest assured uh, request where what you are doing is here they will send you a email for verification right so you have to use a verification generally we use one sec email temporary email for this so you can use one sec email api which is a free uh, api which will provide you right now you can write a rest assured wrapper uh, is async wrapper which will basically fetch the email it will do a confirmation for you then apart from this what else you can learn right there in the vw you will find a editor where they have multiple iframes multiple windows you have to use action items you have to data pass between data you have to do multiple multiple clicks by using action classes only right you will find there are lots of automatic test cases you have to create and multiple pages and end to end flows guys vw.com editor especially right it is one of the complex selenium project that i have seen throughout my 11 or 12 years experience i mean 
in that editor it that editor basically allows you to create a new website so now you can imagine how complex it will be there are multiple iframes right there are iframes which are basically now switched to mobile iframes as well as to desktop one so you have to test multiple times you have to introduce cross browser testing and also it's an amazing project for your automation practice right i have discussed this extensively into generally i discuss this in my uh, automation tester blueprint batch right but again you can also explore by your own right and after this what you can do is that yes i have automated this and again create a repository into the github and upload the test cases whatever that you have automated right i would recommend login page registration page create a campaign page and editor test cases which i'm going to discuss in this case right all right so third one third one is the open cart which is my favorite one this is a simple registration form that it has uh, you can go to the awesome QA website slash UI where you will find a e-commerce website. This is an e-commerce website where you can basically automate. Uh, you can add the details, right? You you will find a login page, simple uh, tutorials ninja.com slash demo. Here also you will find it, right? Uh, you can do add to cart and you can do a payment, which is a dummy payments that you can do, right? So these all three projects you can add to your resume. They are amazing. And I've told you like which one, what exactly you will learn. So again, you can implement all the Selenium related practice this is good practices uh, frameworks into this right a uh, link of the framework just github.com you will find it directly on my repository also you can take help from this framework and you start adding it all right thanks a lot for watching this i hope this helps let me know what else you need which kind of frameworks or or if you have worked on any kind of projects right and if you have added into your github put your github links into the chat i will definitely have a look into it if you have any challenges or you want to know more about this let me know if you are existing subscriber thanks a lot for joining if you are new one consider subscribing I create videos around software testing, development, programming, and productivity. I'll see you in the next video. This is your host, Pramod. Bye-bye.